There you are, son. Good morning, Appalachian Trail. It is good to be on you today, as I am every day. It was nice that the shelter last night was empty when all nine of us rolled in right at dusk. Because we would have felt bad on any hikers that were already there and already trying to sleep or something. So we didn't have to worry about that since it was empty. Fresh ground held this up not once, but twice yesterday. But we got fed well. I didn't have to cook because I had fresh ground. And I have extra food now, but that is a okay. It was a great experience. And he said that this trail into Irwin from the shelter, this 6.2 miles is not bad. lyric ahead of me. Good morning and welcome to the Appalachian Trail. It is day 27 and I am Stick the Eagle aka Stick on Trail and we are heading northbound from Springer Mountain, Georgia to Mount Katahdin, Maine. I am so glad you are along with us on this journey as we go day to day here in the Appalachian Trail. Today started out about 30 degrees, so much warmer than yesterday. And a pleasant six mile hike into Irwin. We'll take an hour or so to upload some video to the Wi-Fi. Maybe get a few snacks, rest the feet, uh, whatever else we need to do. And then uh, head on out and uh, see how much time of day we have. Let's keep on trekking north. Again, AT, isn't the day we descend into a town supposed to be down, not up? There's always these little bumps in the AT. You'll never get away from them. Talk about a big down tree and a big blockage and trail. That's the trail. And uh, we've got a huge down tree here. We're gonna have fun getting away around here. Maybe up there. This tree even has some spring buds on it. I'm getting over it. I think I can see the beautiful town of Irwin, Tennessee. Down to Tennessee we go. This is the kind of trail, flat, light downgrade that you can really start to go fast on, especially when my uh, backpack doesn't feel like it weighs a lot anymore. Since I've eaten food, drank water, and heading into Irwin. Well, I'm not really heading into Irwin, but just for an hour or two. This is gorgeous. It's a Nali Chutsky River, something like that. We continue to go down. Look at little flowers in the tree. It must be springtime. So I tried running out for the very first time and with a very downhill grade, a very easy downhill grade, like this has been, I can easily run without worrying about tripping and falling. But it needs no roots and no rocks. Whenever there's roots and rocks, you slow down. But it's a great way to make some time on the easy, easy downhill when there's none of that. I see a church. It is 10 o'clock and we have made it into Irwin, Tennessee. Or just a little bit from the trailhead. 
So we've done about six miles in just two hours because we left right around eight. Sun rose about 7.30 this morning. Well, we've got a lot of things here. Free Wi-Fi. If Uncle Johnny doesn't work out, that might be a great place. There's the river and Uncle Johnny's. Hostel. Nolly Chucky Hostel, if that's how you pronounce it. They have bikes you can rent out to. Awesome. This is what the Uncle Johnny's Hostel looks like. There's a nice fireplace and there's a bunch of beds. All over here, so awesome. Laundry, clothesline, even have a spot for a hammock hangout, which is awesome. Uncle Johnny's is very nice. There's a lot of little hangout areas. And there's even some spots for tenting if you want to tent. Nice little common area here. And the uh, restrooms are in there and the hiker graffiti board. Finally, leaving Uncle Johnny's behind as we head out. Continue going northbound the Appalachian Trail. We spent six hours longer than intended uh, here on the AT. But it took that long to uh, upload all of the videos and uh, didn't want to leave till they were all uploaded. We are going across this bridge now. Let's go. Beautiful day. Look at this river backed up with mountains. Beautiful, beautiful river. Yeah, we get to go across this bridge and then find out where we go from there. Pretty self-explanatory, is it? campground over here and then into the woods look both ways before crossing the railroad tracks <laughs> we are climbing out of Irwin it's actually a relatively hot day it's reached about 60 so very very pleasant day and uh, we have Unica Mountain coming tomorrow at this point. And then the 6,000 footer Rowan Mountain coming up soon. I don't mind that I spent a while at Uncle Johnny's though. I needed to recharge, get some sugar, um, but recharge in a battery bank because I use it a lot for videoing, editing. That was down to about 37%. So I still had a few days left, but um, yeah, and uh, most important thing is clear storage on my phone by deleting all the videos of the past four days and uploading them, scheduling them to YouTube. So that's what ended up taking a while up there. But it was nice to have some time to uh, spend with some friends at Uncle Johnny's. Frizzle and Bugs and Lyric and Gazelle and others were all there hanging out and talking and Got to sit in the sun for a while, so that's all part of the community on trail. Sometimes you need days like that. Weather changes so, so fast in the mountains. One day you're hiking and it's like 20 degrees and freezing, and the next day it's 60 degrees and sunny, and you're just in your hiking shirt and you're still warm. It's amazing from day to day how much the weather changes. So review of Uncle Johnny's coming up here. Uncle Johnny's is a very nice place. I would highly recommend staying there. They're very nice people. They have very nice grounds. They have spots for tenting, hammocking, or the bunkhouse. They have 
limited resupply, but enough. Um, and they also offer shuttles to bring you into town for further resupply. So they offer really everything you need. They have microwaves, toaster ovens, all sorts of stuff. The bunk room was clean. They had a nice wood stove in there. I would very much enjoy staying there. I just did not stay there because uh, it didn't work out with my schedule and the timing of when I was appearing there. And I didn't want to waste this whole sunny day, but their Wi-Fi was good to use to catch up on uploads and clear my storage space, like I said earlier. And uh, overall, really good place. So if you're thinking of uh, stopping in Irwin, I'd recommend Uncle Johnny's. Some of you have been asking how my feet feel in the Tapos Trail Runners. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, but my feet have been doing great. Ever since I switched out from my boots on day four at mountain crossings, it took about a week for the blisters to go completely away, but they did. And uh, there's been none since, so I feel great. Life out here is absolutely great. My knees feel great, my legs feel great. I have no overuse injuries, knock on wood. <laughs> so things are going great. I'm taking care not to have overuse injuries, but I'm covering miles every day. I don't think I need zeros. Um, life is good out here. So yay for hiking, happy hiking, happy trails. AT. That's what my uh, trail runners look like right now, by the way, the uh, tapos. They're still in great shape after I got them from mountain crossings. And uh, that was at mile 30. And now we're at mile 345. So we've gone over 300 miles in them and they're still in excellent shape. So I'm very happy with them. Not sure how many miles I'll get out of them, but it's nice. This is a hill out of Irwin. This is a little stretch between Irwin and Indian Grave Gap. And then after that gap is Unica Mountain. The rest of my friends are all planning on uh, camping at this next shelter here, which is just in a mile. It's only 515, so I'm like, I don't want to stop at 515. There's still two hours left of daylight. However, reading the far out comments, it says uh, in the shelter comments that there's no spots to camp after the shelter for like four or five miles. So that's that's something I'm taking into account as well. This hill just keeps going up and up and up. I'm glad I'm doing this after a fresh six hour break. Plus I got a nice meal at Uncle Johnny's. They had Philly cheesesteaks. And Godfather was offering parts of his Danish that he got from the store. He got a whole big Danish and he was offering that to every other hiker who was by. So got some of that too, and uh, ice cream, Uncle Johnny says ice cream, and plenty of microwavable meals. I think this hill may have been listening to me muse about still having strength left as we get into the shelter. It's like, I'm going to take all the strength out of you right now, so that you'll have no choice but to stop at the shelter. Just you wait. <laughs> Do mountains talk to us? They say the mountains call to us. It looks flat, but it's steep. A mile ago, I said it's only a mile to the shelter, but I didn't know how steep it was. This thing has slowed my progress to a crawl. We just put one foot in front of the other. And soon we'll be walking up the trail. Just put one foot in front of the other. And we'll be walking northbound towards Mama K. All right, y'all, I'm arriving at the Curly Maple Gap shelter now. It is a quarter to six. The next shelter is like 12-ish miles out. So definitely not doing that. And uh, there's no self camping between here and Indian Grave Gap, according to Far Out Commons, which is another four and a half miles out. So, 
I'm gonna stop for the shelter tonight. Be wise. There's a nice spot. Shelter is right behind me. I'll show a good look at that. And uh, the plan will be to get up early tomorrow and cover big miles tomorrow. We're gonna spend some time uh, doing some planning while we wait for the rest of the crew to show up. Well, it's empty right now, you all, but look at this double decker. And it's really deep too. This is like a really nice shelter. Uh, complete with pack hangers, a nice, nice picnic table, a fire pit as well. Not many tent places, but it's nice up here. I could spend the night here. Like I said, y'all, it's a quarter to six and uh, there's still technically another one and a half to two hours of daylight left. So I could cover another three to four miles, but I don't really like camping right next to the road of Indian Grave Gap. And as I've already said, the comments on uh, the Appalachian Trail app far out say there's no camping between here and there. If there was a stealth site between there, I might have considered going there and tenting, but it's a nice shelter. I'm gonna have friends here tonight who are all planning on coming up here as well. So I think it'd be more fun to hang out here and enjoy the Appalachian Trail community here at the shelter versus stealth camping by myself. I know some of you have already said um, you should tent more, and I agree with you. I completely agree with tenting more, covering more miles later in the day, but that's why I wanted to explain the reason for this choice to you all today. And uh, I think it makes sense to me. Hopefully it makes sense to you as well. doesn't really matter. Uh, hike your own hike. I'm enjoying it and uh, looking forward to meeting everyone else up uh, who is over at Uncle Johnny's. I'm actually the first one here today. There's nobody else here yet, but I'm expecting Frizzle and Lyric and some, some are uh, um, spending the night at Uncle Johnny's, but I'm glad I got that hill out of the way and I'm not spending the night there. So let's keep on hiking northbound. I'll try to show a little bit of the community uh, when everyone gets up here. All right, we are here at the, what was it called? Curly Maple Shelter. Curly Maple Shelter. There's five of us here today, and uh, I've just invited everyone to say whatever they want to and partake in the uh, community of sheltering, so to speak. So, <laughs> this is Frissel. Hello. Hi, Frissel. How's it going? Awesome. <laughs> How are you? I have, to, I have to tell the story that um, Stick decided to be up on Klingman's Dome when it was like 12 degrees out, but we invited him into the shelter with fire to be nice and cozy and warm, so he chose that adventure. <laughs> I chose the sunset <laughs> and adventuring in the dark, and it didn't work out very well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I met day hikers um, that day. Uh, and they asked me if I wanted to pass on a matches, and I said this in that blog as well that day, <laughs> that uh, just to tell them you were right. <laughs> Indeed. Because they it were right. So I should have stayed where there was a nice warm fire, because fire is nice and cozy. They, they, did, they did tell us that, I remember that. They yeah, they did. Yeah. They were like, stick to the fire, and that yeah. you were right. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Anything else, Frissel? That's all. Enjoying the trail. Oh yes. Enjoying 100%. all the uphills and downhills. And... Yeah, I like the uphills more than the downhills. Me too. <laughs> as long as they're like not like sharp uphill and they're like, they're just like gradual. I like the gradual ones. Yeah. All right, Lyric's over here. Hi, Lyric. How's it going? Awesome. How How are you? I'm great. Awesome. I don't... Anything you want to say? How'd you get your trail name? Um, I play a little instrument called the balalaika, and the musician lyric is a musician's trail name. Yeah, I love it. And we got to, I got to hear you play a little bit before. It was great. Yeah, I just did a little bit. Too. Yeah, it was great. Awesome. And over here, we're oh, it's getting darker. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> you are in the shadows. I'm Gazelle. Hi, Gazelle. <laughs> have much to say unless are you gonna tell the Asheville adventure you can well I'm not very good at storytelling but basically Casper and I were like we're gonna get to Davenport Gap and do eight miles super early in the morning we got there and then we're both just so I don't know defeated I guess <laughs> and then <laughs> decided let's just stick our thumbs out and see what happens so we got to this island right before an on-ramp. One side went to Asheville, put my thumb out. One side went to Knoxville. She put her thumb out. And then we just 
waited and decided we're going to go wherever anybody takes us. And then we got a 45 minute hitch to Asheville. And it was a lot of fun. And we were back on trail within 24 hours. So (laughs) that was a perfectly executed side quest, I'd say. Oh, yeah. So you had both sides covered. You would have gone to either place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, and I'm Casper. Um, yeah, I'm loving the trail. I'm so happy out here. And um, I'm just, like, feeling really grateful for how the trail connects you to everybody you hike with in your year and every year before you, which is a really special thing about long trails. It so is. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> Well, thank you all for sharing a little bit about why we love the trail. Yeah. Yay, AT! Yeah. Alright, since it's getting too dark now, we take too, took too much time talking about filming the rest of this video. <laughs> uh, now the sun's going down, but it's been a great day on trail. Uh, we had a lot of fun, uh, all of us, hiking. Spent a lot of time at Uncle Johnny's, recharging, eating food, recharging batteries, and having community and fun time. So then we hiked up this hill, got a little bit of the hill done. We have a lot more hill tomorrow, but that's for tomorrow. So it's been a great day on the AT. We'll continue journeying tomorrow and every day after that. This is the end of day 27, and uh, there's a lot more hiking to come and a lot more adventuring together and making friends, keeping friends, making new friends along the way. I am thrilled that uh, you all and we all are on the same journey together. If you'd like to follow along for more content, please be sure to subscribe. And if you'd like to follow along for live content, you may follow along on Instagram by the same handle as my YouTube, at Stick the Eagle. For now, remember to always embrace the journey and happy Happy trails! It's cheaper than one people you have, I suppose.